G'day everyone, we're continuing on with our big questions. Now, there's one question, it was quite long and the person sort of exploring the question answered a bit of the question for themselves, so I'm going to shorten it to a very simple one. One question was basically asking, what happens when we die? And, and I thought to myself, who would be an excellent minister to ask about that? Um, and the Reverend Ken Day, some of you will know him, um, a legend around Terrigal. Welcome, Ken. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. We are experts on what happened when you die. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, it was very hard to find someone that knew exactly what was happening there. Yeah, you know? yeah. You, yeah. You couldn't say we're really tourists of it because we haven't been there and come back with pictures, but no, no. Well, we can have a guess. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's really an explore. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Ken. What's your thoughts? What happens when we die? Well, I, I, I'm, I, I live with that it's, uh, it's a mystery. I live with it, but, but not talking, and I'm, I suppose for most people, not talking from a not experienced in some way, because we all know someone and at different stages in our life who have died. So we've had to start thinking it through. And um, my father died when I was in early high school. So, and so death's, death came uninvited into our family early on. So I've, I've thought about it for a long time, experienced the, the, the sensation of it for a long time and, and wondered about it, preached about it, being the one who stands with people when at a funeral making pronouncements so but in all of that it's it's I, I i am happy to say uh that it's 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 a mystery i'm glad it's a mystery because other things that we get our hands on we manage to do a lot of destroying of but it seems to be one of those things god has held at a at a distance and even the scriptures like the person who asks the question it, the scriptures give us options a b c or d <laughs> yeah they sort of do don't they there's a, a variety yeah. of questions around it. yeah yes yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's not clear but it's but it's to me if if i could say I, it's clear that it's going to be good and i say that because um it's it, one it's in it's in the hands of god and two, what I've seen of God face to face in Jesus, couldn't see God any clearer than, than I do in Jesus. That's all good. You know, I, I can really trust Jesus that it's however the, the plan happens, however it opens up, whenever it happens, if I'm going to die and lie in the ground, I'm not going to be lying there thinking, boy, this is a long time to be lying here. It, it's, it, you know, and then if I'm raised at a day uh, or if it's when I die and immediately I stand before Jesus and, you know, every knee shall bow and every tongue. And at that moment, confess, Jesus, you, you are the one. You are the one. Um, I, I won't turn back and say to others, I told you he was. I'm yeah. pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be, we we'll won't, to some yeah, of the because, because even at that point we won't want we won't be all those i think all the horrible things that the person does us do that do that when we're dead are people aware of our pain i don't think so i i, I don't think they're aware of our pain whether they participate in what we're doing uh, i'm i'm not sure but you tell, you tell me if I'm rambling here, Richard. No, 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 you're not but so I, I, re, I remember when someone, after their father died, they asked me to come around and see them. And they said, I am sure my father came to me and said, it's all right, all is okay. And they said, I, I don't know what to do about that. And so I asked them, what do you want to do about that? Do you want it to think it was your father or not? And they said, I really don't know. And so I said, then this doesn't have to be what you accept. But I wonder if sometimes if God decided to come and say that to us, whether we would surely die. You know, it would be so frightening if God in all God's glory turned up to say it's all right. Or if even Jesus turned up to say it's all right. But whether God sometimes comes to us in a way that's we know and, and we're, we're comforted by and refreshed to speak to us. Uh, 
I, I don't know. But I, I could not say to that person, well, that didn't happen to you. That would be, yeah. that's, it, it was their experience. Yeah. And, yes. Yeah. And, and it's, a, it's an interesting one of the way we experience death. And I actually think one of the privileges of ministry is actually being there at someone's end of life and praying with them at that point in time. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it, you're right, that mystery of saying farewell but knowing it's not completely farewell. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute privilege. Yes. I was with one lady who was so lucid right to that time, that moment she died, and I knew that moment was only minutes away, and I was able to say to her, um, in, in a few moments, you are going to see face to face Jesus who we've been talking about together all these years and and that even now as I say it it gives me that that uh, it, that's amazing she would go from that to that in moments you know yeah because yeah. in the question it actually asks about about that time frame is it straight away or not and it talks about um when Jesus was on the cross and that criminal was there and Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Yes, yes. Like, is it an instantaneous gig or not? Yeah, yeah. And um, and it's, yeah, I'm, I, I was saying that I'm not great at the Greek, but it's that uh, people wrestle with where should the comma be? Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise because there's no commas in, in Greek. Or in this in the biblical Greek, or do that? Does it say truly? I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. And so now we're we still live in that. I, I don't know. But as I said before, if it is a wait, if we lie there for a long time, we won't be aware that we're lying there, thinking this is a long time to be lying here in my grave. Um, we it'll be that we will sleep and be woken to use the, the the image from Paul, is it in Thessalonians, the trumpet will sound and we will, the dead in Christ will be raised, you know, and, and we will meet in the sky. But that's only one of the, one of the images in the scripture. Yeah. And, and I actually like the statement, the images, because I think we're, we're, we're grappling to try and explain something that is beyond our comprehension in some kind yes. of way. Yes. And, and if people say, you know, well, it's all, it's just all too, too ridiculous. Um, where is it? Years ago, I would have said, uh, you know, when someone said, you know, one day, Ken, you're going to have in your pocket a computer, your internet, da -da -da -da. I would have said, that's ridiculous and it won't happen. Yeah. You know, what no eye has seen, nor the ear heard, nor the human heart ever conceived, God has prepared for those who love him. It's just beyond our grasp but it's going to be good because I've seen it, the goodness of God in Jesus Christ. So in a sense, the answer to the question of what happens to, when, to us when we die, we go to be with God. When and how? We'll find that out when we go to be with God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is there any more that you would want to say before we finish up? No, because it would just send us down rabbit holes because there is a lot more and there are other thoughts and there is one that is completely, I can't quite even explain it, but because God has no time, also when we're talking about it, we're always talking about it in terms of beginnings and endings, whereas God does not have beginning and an ending. So we've got it on a timeline, but, it, you know, others say maybe that that realm is already there somehow, well, and we just move into it. That's a whole theology they can debate is. around Doctor it is. Who, isn't yeah, it? Really? Yeah, because we base it on well, it, this happens now and then that will happen. But God saying, <laughs> it's like God saying, what's a watch? What's a clock? Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't live by time. Yes. Well. Thank you so much for having a conversation with us. Um, and it's always good to have you around, Ken. Uh, it's great to talk to you. And, and if I don't see you beforehand, yes, 
we'll gather at the river. The beautiful, the beautiful river. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> See you there. Bring your fishing rod. <laughs> oh, look, I don't you worry, I will. <laughs> okay, because there won't be a sea. The sea will be no more. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, no, you just caught, yes, yeah, so I'll have to contemplate that for a while. Yes. <laughs> I'll have to take up contemplation. Yes.